Hey YouTube, here Qualia here, bringing you all an update to my Cardfight Vanguard Gravidia Masks deck profile for post even fall onslaught. The set 12 gave us two Brantgate decks for masks support. The first one being Orphis, and then the second one being Nordlinger Masks, which is the masked unit of Gravidia. Very awesome setup for the initial play style of Gravidia to begin with, just being able to activate and trigger abilities twice on top of the meteorite setup that we do for the deck to begin with and it is more of a backup engine i would say to gravidia and not so much taking over as the main play style gravidia still has great pressure overall and this like i said is just an added engine into the deck as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the ride deck with our starter being Gravidia Delon, the standard one wrote upon. If you went second, draw a card. Our grade one is Gravidia Wells. When this unit's placed on Vanguard, look at seven cards from the top of the deck. Choose any number of meteorite cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So search power for our order as well. And if your Vanguard is Gravidia Nordlinger, it has a power option for the rearguard skill with the grade two being Gravidia Barringer when placed on Vanguard. If you have a meteorite in your order zone, soul blast three, draw a card, and this unit gets plus 5,000 to end of turn. So as long as you have that, it's draw power, giving a 15k pressured attack to your opponent with this unit also. And our main go-to grade 3 being Gravidia Nordlinger, along with the copy we are running in the ride deck. We're running two additional copies, so we have the added power of needing to remove a Nordlinger with different card name from our hand solar drop to use with Gravidia Masks as well. So two copies of this card, having the additional pressure when attacks to counter blast one put one or more meteorites from your aura zone into the drop zone and then to the end of battle this unit gets 15,000 power if you put three or more it gets critical plus one if you put five or more your trigger effects activate twice being able just to activate a critical trigger or a front trigger or a heal trigger twice makes it all the scarier of a unit to attack with just being able to split those powers if your opponent blocks your vanguard attack to both of the rear guards that haven't attacked yet for the new mask unit. I'm only running two copies of Gore Gravidia Nordlinger Mask. As I said, it's more of a backup engine to the original Gravidia, and you can thin the deck out pretty easily with all the meteorites to begin with, so you won't really be working with much to search for for this card, so you'll have an easier search when you use Mask of Hydrogram to add this card to your hand. It can only be written from a grade three with Nordlinger and its card name. On Vanguard, you remove a card with Nordlinger with a different card name from your hand sword drop to choose up to three meteorite cards from your drop zone and put them into your hand so recycle power for those meteors also and when this unit attacks a vanguard count plus one put any number of meteor cards from the order zone into the drop for every two meteor cards put into the drop for this cost choose up to one unit card from your hand and call to rear guard if four or more meteorite cards are put into the drop zone for this cost your trigger effects activate twice until end of battle so just a reduction on the trigger effects needing just four for the meteors instead of the five from the original gravidia nordlinger for masks to work and then the meteor rights also having the additional card abilities when placed into the drop having a rear guard retire power for your neatness meteor shower when placed into the drop from the order zone for the other grade threes the four copies of the gravidia baku birito still one of the better cards to use as backup rear guard pressure and during your turn if your opponent's rear guard was retired this turn it gets plus five thousand if three or more were retired it gets critical plus one and added pressure when you attack with this card as well and just being able to utilize it for the rear guard and putting the meteors into the drop zone all happening with the same card ability so you'll get the additional power with baku Kibirito when attacks the same time you sent your drop meteorites to the drop zone with your Nordlinger masks. And for the grade twos, I am running two copies of the Gravidia Alana Hill. So I run this card just because from the garden circle, if your order has a meteorite card, it gets plus five shield. And when this unit is placed on rear guard, you reveal the top card of your deck, put it into your aura zone if it's a meteorite card, and put it on the bottom of the deck if it is not. So you may need to focus one of your turns just to activating the Mask of Hydrogram, so you can then go into your Gravidia Mask. This will take away from the once per turn order you can activate. So having another card in the form of Gravidia 
Allen Howe to be able to place a meteorite to make up for the one you couldn't that turn makes it all the better. With the other grade two being two copies of Gravidia Shurgo, more recycle power for our meteorites by Soul Blasting 2, choosing five from your drop, return it to the deck. If you return one, it gets plus five. If you use three, it gets plus five. If you return five cards, another plus five. So if you return in total five, it'll be plus 15 on top of the power boost this card gets and recycling those cards back into your deck. For the grade ones, I run two copies of the new Bizarre Visitor. On rear guard, when this new attacker boosts, if your vanguard is Gore Gravidia, Nordling, or Mask, choose up to two meteorite cards from your hand, put them into the order zone. If you put one or more cards, it gets plus five until end of battle. If you put two or more, soul blast two and draw a card. So on top of the draw power, it also, you know, is the card you want to make use of with your Nordling or Masks, since this card will add three meteorites to your hand, just being able to then activate them when you attack or boost with your Bizarre Visitor. Only running the two copies, though, it's most of the time just a boosted power option for your uh, unit that it provides backup to, a good number of times being your Nordlinger Masks Vanguard. And also the four copies of Violate Dragon, just being the Sentinel of Choice. If you wanted to run Elementaria Sanctitude, you can always replace one copy of this card for that Blitz Order spot also. For the actual Meteor Orders, I am running six copies of Neatness Meteor Shower. You can have up to 16 Neatness Meteor Shower in the deck. And also, when this card is put into the Order Zone, you may Soul Charge 1. If it was put by your Vanguard's ability, you may also draw a card, giving you more more of a way to sift through cards in your deck. That's why I'm also running lower numbers for the, uh, you know, Nordlinger Mask to begin with. You'll just draw into it all the easier, thanks to this card, or at least have the Mask of Hydrium also ready to go to search out that card with the thinned out deck that you've already made. And when this card's put from the order zone into the drop zone, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire. Just another way to clear your opponent's rear guards as well for the added power boost that'll provide to your Gravidia Bakubirito. And also the four copies of Falling Hell Hazard. When you would count the number of meteorite cards in your order zone, you may count this card as two. And when it's put into the drop from the order zone, buying this card, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire. Counting as two can mean you can just activate two Falling Hell Hazards, and then you have your four needed for your Gravidia Masks to send to the drop in the form of just these two cards. With our last order being two Mask of Hydrogram for the search power for Gravidia Masks. Now this, once again, will take up you being able to activate a, you know, meteorite normally on your turn, but still when you ride with your Gravidia Nordlinger, you can put up to two from your ore zone and from your deck into your ore zone, making you have a good majority of these cards. And if you had other cards added beforehand, then you can activate your Mask of Hydrogram as the go-to card to use. And then for the trigger lineup, we're going for the eight criticals, so four copies of Patrol Robo Decker Cop, and the four copies of Star Aggression Dragon, just for added pressure on top of our Vanguard, and also the three copies of Cardinal Draco Imperio, since we always have that front row ready to go, as the second attacks after our Gravidia Nordlinger, with our heel triggers being the two copies of Navalim, the one copy of Transient Causality, and the one Creaking World for the additional ability triggers, with our over trigger being the the Eldo Breath for the additional power. With your Nordlinger, it's all the more pressure, doubling those powers. If you can double and over trigger, all the more scarier because that could be the official go to attack right then and there. Being able to hit for six damage alone with your Vanguard's attack if it hits. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. The mask is definitely an interesting backup to the main playstyle of the Gravidia deck. And I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira, Qualia, out.